What is up, Internet Basketball Junkie? Today, we're going to look at Ohio, an action to feature the high-low game. From a three-out, two-in alignment and utilizing baseline screening action, we execute a seamless entry pass to the wing, triggering a weak side post flash that shapes our coveted high-low spacing. This concept is from a new product available on my store called the High-Low Synergy Playbook, featuring five different actions that feature the high-low game and a ton of technical advice on how to seal, pass, and create space for the high-low. The guide also features plenty of drills for post-play. Let's delve into the core options of our play here. With straightforward baseline screening, we set the stage for a wing entry. Upon the pass, the weak side post elevates, while the point guard shifts away to craft our desired configuration, which is a twin post setup in the middle third of the court, complemented by a single and paired side. Using the three out two in alignment backed by baseline screening holds several strengths. First, against pressure defense, the wing entries are easier due to the baseline screening. Second, post screens allow the strong side low post to secure powerful seal on the defender, shaping up after the down screen. Third, the weak side post option gains a clear high post flash. Fourth, switching baseline screens enable us to exploit mismatches with guards having to defend posts down low. And lastly, the baseline screens can keep the defense busy for our point guard to drive down the lane uh, as they try to deny our wing entries. After the wing entry, assuming no immediate shot opportunity is there, our first move is to read the low post for a potential feed. While that's happening, the weak side post flashes to the high post as the point guard spaces to the weak side. This is our preferred spacing. Two posts poised in the middle third, reinforcing the high-low foundation, flanked by a single impaired side. From this platform, we delve into our subsequent away of options. After reading the strong side low post, the next avenue opens with ball movement through the high post. Timing is key, especially for tight catches near the foul line. Remember, tighter, tighter receptions to the foul line equate to shorter low post entries and agile drives. Swift execution is key, ensuring the flash to the high post occurs instantly. In the brief 2-3 to three second flash, the wing and low post read if a direct feed to the low post exists. The middle third unfolds as a playground for posts four and five to read each other, synergizing their actions. While the four can extend near the three-point line, this does make the low post feed a little bit longer and a drive to the rim also a little bit longer. Shout out to Dr. Dish for sponsoring this video. Visit drdishbasketball.com to learn more about their game-changing shooting machines. Thank you for breaking down this high-low offense with me.